The ADV is designed as an interceptor, so standby crews learn to run at the scramble alarm. The Royal Air Force now has 165 Tornado F3s, while a further 24 have been built for Saudi Arabia. Main armament is the four Skyflash missiles under the fuselage, but short-range sidewinders are also carried. The Skyflash is guided by a monopulse radar seeker and was developed from the earlier American Sparrow. It has a range of 31 miles and can be launched from as low as 100 feet. The older Sidewinder has an infrared seeker head and an effective range of some 9 miles. The Fox Hunter radar in the aircraft's nose allows the aircraft to track and engage targets flying at extreme altitude or right down on the deck. The ADV is the most advanced interceptor the Royal Air Force has ever possessed. It can also be used in the attack role, carrying the same sort of 10-ton payload as the IDS, but its radar, avionics, cockpit displays, and above all, computer software are optimized for the air-to-air -air mission. It's not really a dogfighter, though, such as the American F-16 Fighting Falcon, for example. It's designed for the air defense of the United Kingdom, which means bringing the battle to the enemy as far from the shore as possible. As one pilot put it, it's supposed to engage hostile aircraft 400 miles out to sea on a dark and dirty night with lots of targets at low level and heavy electronic countermeasures. The pilot would not find his cockpit much different from that of an IDS, but in the back seat, it's not the same story. The arrangement of the tabs is side by side, and they have different tasks beyond that of navigation. The F-3 relies heavily on its Fox Hunter radar in the nose, which could detect targets at very long range, continue to search for new targets while tracking others, and carry on operating in the face of severe jamming. Radar data is provided on the tabs in a variety of formats, such as target detection or target tracking with details of speed, height and heading all flashed out for the operator. Fox Hunter also gives high quality ground mapping to update the navigation system. The big Skyflash missiles, which may in due course be replaced by the American AMRAAM or Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, are forcibly ejected by Fraser Nash cartridge-powered rams to ensure clean separation. The advantage of the more expensive newcomer is that it is fire and forget, whereas Skyflash has to be monitored all the way to its target. When you see the Tornado F3 at home in its element, flying nothing less than an aerial ballet, it's easy to forget that it's a deadly fighting machine. An aircraft which has proved through exhaustive tests that probably better than any aircraft known, it can intercept and destroy enemy aircraft and cruise missiles. And that includes under conditions of the most intense electronic warfare interference, including high power jamming and the release of chaff or flares. It really has everything, including two reliable high performance engines, which give its crews confidence way out over the ocean on maritime missions. is carefree and endurance greater than any other air defense fighter in the world. But of course, it's not just the airplane which makes the Tornado a weapon system about which so much can be said. Its highly skilled and professional crews deserve a round of applause as well. The F-3 seems to float rather than fly as it approaches its VC-10 tanker in a display of elegance which might be rivaled but not surpassed. Such flexibility allows the fighter to defend an enormous volume of airspace, from Iceland to the Baltic. 